If you're watching this video, then you're probably trying to decide which semi off-road tire will suit you best. Well, I'm here to hopefully help you make the decision. I fit my first set of Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs back in May of 2020. That's 10 months ago from now when I released this video. During those 10 months, I've clocked over 12,000 kilometers with them on my street scrambler, and I've pushed their boundaries both on and off-road, in the wet, dry, and harsh conditions. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my experiences with the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs to hopefully help you make the right decision as to whether they are the right fit for you and your riding style. Roll the intro, baby. Roll it like it's never been rolled before. Hey there guys, what is up? Welcome to Motorfills. I'm Rob Hamilton. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now before we start this video, a couple of mentions. One, I am not a tire expert. So what you're hearing from me is literally my experiences just with the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs. There are a whole bunch of comparison videos out there and I'll link the ones that I found most informative in the description below. So go and check them out. They're pretty damn cool. This is not a paid ad. It's literally my experiences. That I'll share with you guys. The video will be broken up into a few sections. Why the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR? What's so good about them? And then I'll just literally jump straight into the performance on off-road, going around corners, max speed, max everything. Uh, so we'll delve into that. Timestamp below as well. So if you want to go through and click on the sections, you can do that. And also the winner of last week's competition will be announced at the end of this video. So if you're following along that and you entered, Make sure you tag along, baby. I cannot wait to share this with you. It's gonna be sick. And please like and subscribe. Hit that little bell notification icon so that you get notified every time I release a video. Let's basically do what this little thing's doing right here. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. What are Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs? So I've taken this directly off the website and I will be backing it up with facts or insight that I have based on what they say it is from the website. Number one, technological innovations provide traction on dirt, stability at high speeds, on-road handling, agility, and grip in all riding conditions. And I say hells yeah to that, they nailed that. Two, a new compound with high content of silica, offers increased grip on both dry and wet surfaces, stability, and a superior resistance to abrasion. Yes, I learned a fair bit about like what silica does and stuff, and a few notes that I put down with this, it dispels water away from the tire, so you have better traction in wet, which is damn incredible. It allows for a wider range of operating temps, so you can ride down to seven degrees Celsius and still have a very good performing tire, rather than if you didn't have it in there, it's like 14 degrees Celsius or something like that. So if you're in a cooler country, cooler climates, these will still perform really well in those conditions. There's low rolling resistance, so there's no force being pushed against the tire when you're trying to move forward, which saves mileage on the tires, also fuel economy. But in saying that, the tire also molds around rocks and everything like that, so you're still getting that grip. It's not just going straight over. Fortnite did a really good video on this, and I'll link it here. Go and check it out. They actually, you know, he's an, he's an absolute genius. Not like this damn, this guy. Increased width and length of the tire's contour makes a larger contact patch for better stability. Yes, agreed. Blocks are longer and wider and the longitudinal distance between each line of knobs has been reduced to increase the contact patch without compromising off-road traction. Again, it's, this is all legit. It's not just a marketing ploy, it's actually legit. Heat generated by high speed is distributed across a wider surface to prevent knob tearing. So basically the five points that they make there um, literally describe the tire. That's exactly what it is. Now my tire sizes on my Street Scrambler are 110 80 R19 and they come in at about 220 Australian dollars and the rear, the 150 70 R17, they come in at $240. Now with the front, I did go a little bit wider, just a little bit as wide as I could go before it starts scrubbing out there. It doesn't make a difference in handling, just looks a little bit better in my opinion. They are V-rated for speeds up to 149 miles per hour or 239 kilometers an hour which is insane, man. Like that's insane. For an off, like a semi off-road tire, like are you serious? It's too fast anyway. Shouldn't be going that fast. Cheeky guys, you cheeky. They are DOT approved, available in different sizes to fit most modern ADV bikes. I'd say these tires are a 70 on, 30 off-road sort of tire. They're not a 50-50, but in saying that, I think even that's just like, depends how much you want to take it off-road, depends what you want to even use these tires for anyway. Let's jump into the performance of it. Super keen on this. Okay, so first you want to break in these tires when you get them on brand new, boom, which I did by the way, I'm on my second set now. That's how much I like these tires. I'm on my second set, take them for a little ride, you know, ease into those corners, wear out all that top layer of just stuff. You want to get down to the nice cushiony, gooey sort of stuff. 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers, let's go for a nice brisk ride. Don't go too hard. No Valentino rossi and get around corners. Now the first thing you'll notice when you stick these bad boys on your bike and you take them on the road, 
is just how much feedback and control you have. It feels literally feels like you're riding with a normal tire. You know what I mean? There's no there's no vibrations. You you're planted. You're solid. You have full confidence. You can feel you can feel the bike just still working with that nice contour of the tire. You can feel the bike working really nicely through city streets. You're lane splitting. You're just cruising around. I bet you literally will put them on and be like. They just feel like a normal tire. <laughs> now with noise and vibration, like I said, there's no vibration at all, which is surprising. You think there would be with those big chunk things. The gap's like not wide enough for you to feel any noticeable vibration. With noise, I feel like maybe there's like just the slightest little hum when you're doing around 80 kilometers an hour. Very like 70 to 80. By the time you notice it, you notice you're like, oh yeah, I can hear that. It's just like a little but then you know you go and all that sort of stuff so like who cares but yeah within like you know a few minutes you've already forgotten about it and you just don't hear a thing again surprising you'd think that they'd be pretty damn noisy but they're not they're actually very very quiet so as you guys know we went for a massive ride around new south wales 5,000 kilometers a lot of that riding was just just dead straight no turns or anything like that and we we'll you know clock in 110 Nick had him on his Tiger 1050 as well, and he didn't have an issue. It was just, just go baby, like you're sweet. There's no vibrating, no noise. It's just a good, it's just like a normal on-road tire. Cornering, oh my goodness, you guys know how much I love cornering. These tires, man, they just, man, they just surprise me every time. Hey, every time I just hook it and hook it and hook it, I'm just like, how the hell are these even semi-on-road tires? Like, it just blows my mind. And here, I'll show you a little snippet of when I just came off one of the most epic twisties for like an hour and a half, man. And I was going as hard as I could. And I'll show you a little snippet here, just coming straight off that ride. Look at that, that's how you know. Edge to edge, man. Doosh, these tires are so sticky, they just grip. I was just powering it as much as I could through those corners. No chance of it slipping up. Oh, look at the, check out the evidence here. Look at those bad boys. Look at that, full on scrape each side. Anyone who's nice. thinking of changing the tires to these things, man, just do it. You will just, you'll froth. Um, wow. Wow. On and off road, man, they're, they're ridiculous. So yeah, you can tell how excited I was. You can see how like cooked the tires were as well. The road was pretty warm. The hotter temperature roads do chew out the tires a little bit more, which I'll get to a little bit with the mileage. But man, they felt sticky. That was so sticky. I was scraping pegs, man, each side. And I have full confidence in it. Again, I feel like it's maybe the lack of power that my bike has, 55 horsepower stock. But I was hammering every corner, man. I was on it. I was open the whole time. Ah, they're just so good. So if you want to take these for, you know, burn around some corners and all that, go for it, man. You'll be frothing. Now cornering in the wet, I don't I don't ride in the rain too much, but I have ridden in the rain. Again, I feel confident with them. I'm not going as hard as I usually would, of course, because I just don't want to damn die. And like, you just don't know what oil patches or anything could be around. So always take care when you're riding in the rain, always. But I've never, I've never had an issue at all. When it's raining, when it's a bit wet, I slam the brakes on, ABS just kicks in, but other than that, water dispels nicely. No aquaplaning, which is fantastic. I had the tires on 7,000 kilometers before we went for our 5,000 kilometer adventure around New South Wales. I found that the wear mainly happened, obviously, when we were just riding just dead straight. It squared off. I think that gave me some issues as well when I was riding off-road, which I'll get into soon. Got 12,000 kilometers out of the rear tire. Some people get more, some people get less. It really depends on how you're riding. My front tire, I reckon I could have gotten like another maybe like 2,000 to the 4,000 kilometers out of the front tire. And I think this is the biggest common issue with them that I've seen people's reviews on them and everything are they the tire wear factor. They are pretty soft, you know, which is what you want for around corners and all that. But obviously it's going to cook the tires down a little bit, especially if you're riding on a hot day, it will chill them out. If you're taking them off road, if you're getting that wheel spinning, if you're going over harsh, it just, you know, it really depends on where you're riding and how you're riding. You will, you can take chunks out of the, the knobs as well, which I have too. So 12,000 kilometers on the rear, maybe like, yeah, maybe like 15, 16,000 kilometers on the front tire. Trying to compare that to the stock Metzlers that were on, they were much harder compound, the Metzlers. I don't know too much about them. I feel like they would have lasted a while. I remember I had them for 4,000 kilometers before I changed over to the Scorpion Rally STRs and I did a massive burnout, huge burnout, and it was going for ages, man. Smoke everywhere. And there was so much rubber and I was like, I put a hole in the ground. I actually put a hole in the ground. So, um, yeah. There's, there's a lot of rubber there and that'll last. I think that'll last longer, definitely, the Metzlers. But, for the Scorpion Rally STRs. 
feel like I just have more confidence in them. Now I'm not a skilled off-road rider at all. You know, I've, done, I've been doing it maybe for like the last year and a half or since I've owned the Street Scrambler. I've taken the Metzlers off-road and they, they sort of lacked in performance there just because I was taking it over some pretty gnarly stuff. Going in through sand patches, forget about it. Forget about it with the Metzlers. They're just made for green laning, you know, real basic stuff, which is what the Street Scrambler is actually made for. Putting the Rally STRs on, um, sand is still a pretty mad nuisance. You know, that's just probably my riding capabilities as well. Like, damn, when you, when you feel these handlebars is wavering and you're on a, like a 200 kilo bike, that's pretty expensive if you drop it in the middle of damn nowhere. Yeah, you, you poop a little bit. And looking at other reviews, just to make sure that I was on the same page with everybody, heaps of other people said the same thing. They're not the best for sand. You can do it, you can definitely do it, but there are definitely better tires out there if you're riding through sand. Off-road, off-road's sick, hey, with these. They grip in, you've got the sharp edges, Nice big grooves, that's just paddling in there, man. It's just kicking up the dirt. You're getting some mad forward momentum. Steering cap capabilities, you're sweet, you're so sweet. Dirt, off-road, a little bit of mud, hooking in there a little bit, kick it up, have a ball. Deep mud though, Ooh, forget about it, baby. <laughs> forget about it. Uh, I mean, I struggled big time when we hit that mad dirt road and just everything just turned to shit. But in saying that, they were pretty worn out as well. So maybe if the tires were a little more fresh, I would have had a bit more traction there, would have pushed forward a little bit nicer. I don't think they're made for that again. They're just, they're made for like some off-roading if you want to go hooking off-road and you can, man. You can hook it, you will stop in time. Stopping power is really nice on them as well. I'd say sand, not so much. Mud, not so much. Everything else, good times. I was actually super worried on the trip just because I didn't want to have to change a tire. I didn't even have a service stand on the bike, so if we had to, it'd be the worst thing ever. But like, we didn't get a puncture. None of us got a puncture. How sick is that? So the tires are pretty damn strong, and we rode over some pretty hectic, like gravel, sharp rocks, and you know, crazy different terrain. So stoked that they didn't tear, even as low as I got <laughs> when they were getting pretty damn flat on top. No punctures, so they're pretty strong as well, which is sick. I asked some guys in the Street Scrambler forums on Facebook what they thought about their TKC 80s on their bike, just so I have something to compare it to being Street Scrambler. Thanks for writing in, guys, we really appreciate it. And some said that the TKC 80s do slide when you're cornering too hard have a little kick out, a little wobbly moment. Obviously, they're a more aggressive tire, way more suited for off-road, for sand, for mud. The knobblies are like, they're huge, man. They're huge, they look sick, I really do. They're, I was tossing up between that and the Scorpion Rally STRs. But, you know, I just like, I love my cornering way too much to be able to have that happening all the time. Ooh, and then like, because of that as well, you can shear off the knobs or too much heat builds up in them. You're gonna start just wearing them out really fast. Out of the rear, they got three and a half thousand miles. And out of the front, they got eight to 10,000 miles, which is what in kilometers? 3,500 miles is 5,632.7 kilometers. And I got 12,000 out of mine, so. The guys that own the TKC 80s said that they're willing to sacrifice cornering for more traction off-road. So it just depends what sort of riding you're doing, man. It always depends on the style of riding that you want to do, what you want to achieve, what do you want more? Do you want to corner or do you want to go off-road more? your call. Comparing the Pirellis to the stock Metzler Turrences that the Street Scrambler come out with, off-road, the Pirelli Scorpion Rallies absolutely munch the Metzlers. Absolutely. You have so much more stopping power, so much more going power, traction, everything. Everything about them are way better than the Metzlers off-road, 100%. On-road, I think, I think the Metzlers were fine. You can still just do what you want to do, but I just have more confidence in the Pirellis. Want to buy them again? I've already got my second set on. So yes, I'm like, I'm so happy with them, hey. I'm ridiculously happy with them. And other reviews and everything like that, people are saying the exact same thing. Just buy again, would buy again, 100%. They look sick, they perform really well. For the amount of off-roading I'm doing, it's perfect. Now, I was such a noob at riding off-road. Like, this is my first bike that I took off-road. My first off-road riding experience was with the stock Street Scrambler with the stock tires on them. These tires brought confidence to my off-roading abilities, for sure. These are a great tire for if you're starting to ride off-road on your, you know, street bike. If you want to take them off-road but still have that mad performance on the streets, then these are the ones for you, man. So to basically sum it up and to help you guys make the decision on whether to buy these Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs or not, it really comes down to your riding abilities and what you want to use the tires for. If you want a tire that can dig in and go through mud and all terrain and just absolutely hammer, maybe the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs aren't for you. Maybe even try to go on the Pirelli Scorpion Rallies, the non-street version. 
They're pretty damn aggressive and I've heard some incredible things with them off-road. Apparently they're even maybe better than the TKC80s. It just really depends on what sort of style of riding you're doing. I love cornering. I love cornering. And these cater to my needs. When I want to go off-road, I'll just go off-road and have a little bit of fun, a little bit of playtime. Um, and I have a fantastic time. It's like, it's just damn fun. Obviously, I just got to keep it away from the mud for now. Maybe my skill level isn't that high yet in the sand as well, but I'm getting used to it. I've got my WR450 now. I ride over the sand and that just, just scoots over. It's so light. The weight's got something to do with it as well. But yeah, how good's that? Let me know in the comments below if I have gotten you over the line, if I push you, if I got you there. Yes, the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs are for me. Or um, let me know if you're gonna go with something a little bit more aggressive and I'd love to know your thoughts on them uh, in the future, your experiences with them. Let's get this thread rolling, baby. And also, if you have any questions, again, drop me a line. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Hit the bell icon for them delicious notifications. Um, but before we leave, I'm gonna announce this draw, this damn competition with USA Dry Packs and EKS brand. Goggles Australia, look at these things. Some lucky person is taking away over $650 worth of prizes, man. How sick's that? Let's jump over to this side. The sun's actually starting to pound. It was like, it was like a rainy day. I thought it'd be cool to set up here, you know? I'm looking outside right now. It's just all bright and weird. Let's move over to here. Check this out though. How sick is this? This is like my new, this is my new plaything. All right. All right, guys, well, this is on the YouTube bit as well, but I'm going to chuck it on my story just because, you know, this is all live. I'm going through easy promos as well, so it's all legit. It's going to be a certificate and everything. All I got to do is click this button and we're going to find out who the winner to the USA Dry Packs and X Brand Goggles Super Prize, $650 worth of amazing gear. And who it's going to go to? All I have to do here is click this little start button. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's do it. The winner goes to... Vinny Terranova. <laughs> there you go. That is it. That is it. How crazy is that? Like, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. Congrats, man. Congrats. That's sick. All that is going to be going to you wherever you are in Australia. And um, congrats on that big time. You're going to love it. Oost Dry Packs, X Brand Goggles Australia. $691 worth of prizes coming your way, bro. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in next week's vid. Woo! Peace. That was so, 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 so. I'm like, legit, I'm like, I'm like, I'm shaking. I was so excited. I was so excited about that. Wow, that's awesome. Let's do more. I'm gonna do more. That was, <laughs> ah, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk. I need a beer. I know we need a beer. Babe, we need a beer. Ah.